requests as how to make it. Last year in April I featured a birthday card with Thomas the Train for our grandson. And this isn't the card but you can pop back on my blog to last April 2014. But he loved it so much I made him another one this year and decided that I get so many requests to how I made this that I would do a video showing you how. So let's get started. First, you're going to take a soft sky that is four and a quarter by 11 inches and fold it in half. <clears throat> and for the ground piece, I have a piece of crumb cake that is going to be the inside of our base card. So I'm just gluing that on like that. And then we have our railway. We need to put our railway tracks in. So I'm going to place, oh, you know what? I want to wait to do this until I get Thomas on there because I need to know where he's driving. Now, this is a pop-up card. You can see that it pops up a little bit when you open it. And it's done with um, a little square. It's not too difficult. I have a 3 quarters by 2 and a half inch piece of cardstock and I've scored it every half inch. So you're going to fold that on the score marks and then you're just going to create a little box like that. So I've pre-done that and then you're going to just put adhesive on two of the sides. So we're going to add, I'm going to use glue dots because I find them easiest to work with for something like this. So I'm going to take the glue dot and I'm going to I say that easy and then I can't get it on there. So we're going to put glue dots on two of the right next to each other. You can see this. And then we're just going to lay that in the center of our card. And we're going to close our card. Now it looks real technical, but there we have our little pop-up that we'll hook Thomas to in just a few minutes. So here we have um, the beginning of Thomas' head, but first I'm going to do the, the little uh, main part of Thomas. I've taken a 2 by 3 and 3 quarter inch piece of cardstock like this and I've slid it into my tag topper punch and punched it. So that's going to be the base of our Thomas the Train. Then I've taken a one and a half inch by two and a quarter inch and I have just corner rounded it. I've made the corners like this and we're going to put that um, right about here on our Thomas the Train. I can't remember if I, nope I didn't, couldn't remember if I put a little dimensional on it. So we're going to stick that right about here. Now there's no, you know, rockets. I don't measure because I'm just, I don't get around to it most of the time. I'm too lazy to measure. And we're going to take our little headlights. Now we have, I have pre-punched these with our owl punch. The owl punch has some larger ones and some smaller ones. And at the end of the video, I'll also be posting a graph of all the pieces that you're going to need to, to make Thomas so you have it available to you. You just need to hop over to my blog at www.stampstodiefor.com and do a Thomas the Train search and you should be able to to find the the cheat sheet with all the little pieces you're going to need to make Thomas. I put those yellow ones down and then I'm taking this is a half inch um, circle so we're going to take that and we're just going to put that on top of the... Now you might have some other circles that will work well for this. Um, but the Owl Punch does have most of them except these little black ones are the half inch circle punch. So there we have his little... I don't know if those are headlights or... Um, 
And then we have this little piece, which is a half inch by one and a half inch. That's going to be our little steam stack. And I just want to snip the little corners off that to make it look a little more, you know, just to round those little corners. I didn't want a corner around it because that would be more than I wanted. I'm going to put a little snail on here. And we're going to apply this with just the steam stack sticking up a little bit above our project. <clears throat> now this one is a three quarters inch by two inches and we're just going to mount this um, to look like the other part of our, the lower part of our steam stack which is a little thicker. We're going to just mount that like that. So that's the beginning. Now we're going to add um, Thomas's face and I need to grab my gray smoky slate ink because I want to add a little bit of um, sponging on the edge just to give it a little more dimension. Now if you've never sponged before you just take a silk sponge and grab some of the ink from your ink pad and just sponge around. And I just kind of sponged up his little front like that to create a little more dimension. There we go. And I have this tiny little nose that I want to, and on this one I think I might just take the little circle and put it on the ink pad directly. I'm just going to, so that's his nose. I maybe got it a little too much. Maybe I'll sponge it and flip it over on the back. So we're going to put his nose pretty much dab in the center like this. And then also from the Owl Punch I have, have two white, whisper white circles that are going to be Thomas's eyes and we're going to just put them up here like this. And this one is going to go here like this. Of course, he needs little pupils, so we have punched out with that owl punch again um, some little black circles from the smaller circles on that punch. See how he starts to come alive? Now, for his mouth here, you could free. You know, free cut that, but I took um, a three quarter inch punch and I just did a punch and then I just went down a little bit and punched again. Whoops, it went flying, so I'm going to have to do that again. And there we have our little mouth we're going to stick on Thomas like that. Now, for this part, I did want to raise it up a bit to give it a little bit more dimension. So I'm going to take um, some of our dimensionals, which are a little foamy, double-sided stick. So we take that and go like that. And we're just going to put this in the center of this little bit smaller square piece. Now, for the bottom, I've taken a three and a quarter by a two inch piece. And I again have corner rounded the top two sides of that. And our little red strip is a half inch by two inches. And I've <clears throat> again punched two blacks out with the larger um, punch on the owl punch. And we're going to, I'm just going to put this on the bottom of here like this. And then we're going to apply that to the bottom of our Thomas the Train. So we're going to stick a dimensional here and a dimensional over here. And you can cut your dimensionals in half if you want to be a little more sparingly. And there, there's our Thomas the Train. Now to put him on our card, Remember that little pop-up thing that we had going here? So we're going to take a couple of glue dots and we're going to put them in the center of our Thomas. 
So I've applied a couple of glue dots right here on the center and I'm going to lay that him down like this and then we're just going to fold that card up again and there we have our pop-up. See how easy those little pop-ups are? Now remember I started to put that train track on but then I decided to wait because I wanted to know exactly where Thomas was, was going to be situated to add the tracks. I hope you can see this in the Card isn't covering up too much of it. So now I've put that strip. This strip here is 3 8 inch by 5 and a half, and that's going to be the base of our railroad track. And I'm just sticking these under those two little black headlights, basically. Oops, get that straight. And then we're going to add our track on top of that. So you can see how we're adding the track to get our track. So for the rest of the card um, I added some little clouds and those I just freeform cut and again I sponged them with some sponge and I laid them on here and then just cut off the excess. So that is our Thomas the Train card and I've added a little designer paper and a little belly band to the front for today's card and he loved it as much this year as he did last year. However, last year he carried the card around for the entire week. This time he was a little more excited about the present that was inside. So I hope you enjoyed today's Thomas the Train pop-up card. Hop over to our blogs at www.stampstodiefor.com or Allison's at Stamp Crazy with Allison.com.